come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello, and thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It's a movie review podcast that happens every Saturday night right here on your internet radio dial. That doesn't make any sense, but I keep saying it. <laughs> Do the kids know what dials are? I don't no, think yeah. so. Is that a thing that still exists? <laughs> you were smart enough to find us right on iTunes or Stitcher Radio or Podcast Addict or smart Google enough. Play. Bored enough. Mm-hmm. Weird enough. But thank you either way for tuning in. We hope you'll go the extra mile and give us a star rating or a like or share us with your friends or write to us even or like the Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can follow us on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. And you can write to us through the old fashioned email Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. We know it was a long mile to get to here, but please go the extra mile. And find us on those and like us. And also on Instagram. Yep. At Saturday Night Freak Show. (laughs) All right. So these are the internet radio superstars. Sean. Holly. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And this week we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela. Michaela, what did we watch tonight? We watched Cobra. (laughs) From the year... 1986. Directed by... George P... How do we say his last name was pronounced? Cosmatos. 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 Which, um... The father of Panos, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Panos Kazma. There's nothing to do with this movie. He's got some good directing credits. He directed Rambo First Blood Part 2. Mm-hmm. Oh. Tombstone. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, he directed God. Tombstone? Yeah, so and now oh, you're wow. speaking my language. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's got, got some cred. There. He's got some cred. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Old Drops George, off after George that P. and stops altogether. Old, old George P. <laughs> I think maybe did may he, he pass away? Yeah. yeah. May, yeah. Oh, may he yes. rest. Mm. Well, he's responsible God for some uh, Stallone classics. Mm-hmm. All right. So Cobra. This is a fascinating, fascinating film. We're going to spoil the hell out of it, by the way, but uh, you're going to tag along with us on this amazing ride. First of all, ride why, along. Did, why did we pick this ride along? It's a ride along. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because he's a cop? Yep. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, this is uh, Michaela. I feel, like, has I feel a... like Colin should publicly thank Michaela for choosing this movie. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I agree. Colin's well, been threatening this movie for years. This is like one of the, the this is a clearinghouse episode on the Saturday Night Freak Show because if, <laughs> yeah. you, if you conjure a movie long enough, it will appear. <laughs> That's true. I think true. Uh, Jared Sin would say otherwise, Colin. Uh, well, he's still somewhere out there. Yeah, the he's ether. out there somewhere. You just got to concentrate more or drop the name a couple more times uh-huh. and maybe it'll show up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you've listened to some of our past episodes, you have heard us talk about Cobra and what a, a, a fantastic uh, experience it is. Now we're going to find out because now we put it to the test. Two of the people here had not seen it tonight. Nope. Had not seen true. Cobra. Yeah. And we yep. remedied that. Mm hmm. But this is also significant because... This is the last stop on our uh, tour of Canaan for the summer. What a way to go. <laughs> yeah, we start with... <laughs> we're bookending it nicely. We started with Stallone and Over the Top, and we're ending it with Stallone. And what else do we do? Going Over the Top. Uh, we, going Over the Top. <laughs> we, uh, in the middle there, we had Breakin'. We had Bloodsport. That was it. Is that right? It? We've also I feel like there was one some... more. Maybe there wasn't. Is that all I think that was it yeah. for the summer yeah. of Canada. Summer, but, but yeah. Previously, we did do, well, this was like a previous, previous summer of Canada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We previously did uh, Life Force and Ninja Masters, Masters of the Universe. Universe. Yeah. And you're right. Yep. Oh, no, wait. Ninja 3 was, yeah, that was a Canada That's movie. Canada. Yeah. Ninja yeah. 3. And Ninja mm-hmm. 3, The Domination. Mm-hmm. Where's American right. Ninja? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. We got yeah. Cobra. Yeah. All right, so do we need to recap who Canon was and what they did in case this is your first episode that you're listening to? Okay, Michaela, who the hell is Canon Films? They were a film group uh, that really hit their stride in the 80s. They um, they are basically uh, what Blumhouse is to our current generation. That's what they were for the 80s, except the quality of their films are significantly lower than Blumhouse (laughs) films. They were known for just kind of... Watching Did you for watch Cobra? <laughs> <laughs> they were known for kind of watching for trends in popular culture and trying to hop on it with movies really quick, like break dancing, hip hop, arm wrestling. Ninjas. What, was Ninjas. The, what was the trend for this one? Dirty Harry. Okay, that makes that, like like that dirty, dirty sense. cop movies. Yes. Dirty cop movies was their was their thing. Um, yeah, yeah. But was they it? also got in on some. Uh, we mentioned it maybe on one of the last episodes. Musicals. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. The Apple. Yeah, the <laughs> Apple, which was their version of Xanadu, basically. Right. 
they All had uh, yeah. <laughs> they gave Toby they they said cuz from what I can understand, right? They had a period where they made like The Last American Virgin and like Bolero, well, you know, and mm-hmm. uh, mm. Bo Derek and you know these smaller <laughs> movies, right? As they were kind of like as they were more and more successful, Breakin included, right? Mm-hmm. Then they had enough money to actually put their own logo on the front of their films yep. and hire bigger talent, mm-hmm. you know, like Chuck Norris and uh, Charles Bronson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then in the late, mid to late 80s, this is when they started getting into, we can hire big guns. The crown jewel. Big money <laughs> to go after and do stuff. When they hired Toby Hooper to do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, mm-hmm. Life Force, and Invaders from Mars. Like, that mm-hmm. was like a Damn. blank check. Like, mm-hmm. Toby Hooper. He's the guy that we need to hire to bring the kids into the theaters in the summer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Didn't work. But, uh, <laughs> and then Sylvester Stallone, he's the yeah. biggest thing. You know, after Rambo, we got to secure him to a two picture contract. Mm-hmm. And out of that, we got Cobra and Over, over the, the top. top. So it was part of the deal of getting Stallone that he, they allowed him to write his own movie? Here's the thing Stallone doesn't make a movie unless he can write it. All right. He will not participate in a movie unless he can get a writing credit of some sort mm-hmm. um to the chagrin of mo- most people that work with him right you know like that he's that's that's his thing like this movie so you know how when um when like a book adaptation of a movie comes out um they'll re-release the book with the movie cover right yeah, right it's called a movie tie-in mm-hmm. so they wanted to do that with this movie with because this was based on a book called fair game um which is I'm sure it's a great book, but it was made into an even worse movie later on called Fair Game with Cindy Crawford oh. in 1985. Oh. And Billy Baldwin. And I Billy saw Baldwin, yeah. yeah. It's it's not great. That's the, You just made me want to watch Fair Game again. <laughs> I never thought, I never thought I'd say Cobra. that. That's what I want to know. It's not. Like, not it's not at all. So, so I still want to see it. <laughs> Stallone, Damn it. Yeah, Stallone basically rewrote most of the movie um but so they want to do a movie tie-in cover for the for the book fair game with with the cover for cobra and stallone said you're not doing that unless you put out the version of the book that is the script i wrote Mm -hmm. so he would not agree to a tie-in edition unless it was literally his script published that makes authors really happy Mm -hmm. take them completely off of their own work Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I can imagine though if it's that different, I'd be like, "Yeah, no, this is completely different." <laughs> You're gonna put me on it and release mine. Mm-hmm. Did I'm you with know Stallone on this one? That this movie began its uh, formative years as uh, Stallone's version of Beverly Hills Cop. Mm-hmm. What? Did he you know was... that movie was written for Stallone originally? What? Beverly Hills what? Cop was, yeah. And we're getting incredulous <laughs> looks across the table right now. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sylvester Stallone was hired to be in Beverly Hills Cop, the movie. What it a was, different movie. What a he, very different well, he movie. Well, he started rewriting it, of course, as you Obviously, do. Obviously. Because that's yeah. what he does. And a lot of the ideas, apparently, that he came up with while writing that movie it ended up in the script for Cobra. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. see how, because I don't I, see mm-hmm. like the similarities yeah. between the two there films. There are Joe none. But I'm assuming that the uh, the characters you'll see quotes are right. jokes. You can't see how this relates to Eddie Murphy. Uh, you know, <laughs> you guys can't see those connections. It didn't actually. It didn't take on like a comedic tone until they hired Eddie Murphy. It was right. going to be a straight, straight oh, okay. laced movie until gotcha. like they got rid of Stallone and then they turned it into and more Eddie Murphy's comedy. like, "Have you seen Raw? <laughs> I'm changing this movie." Did you know Beverly Hills Cop was offered to David Cronenberg and he turned it down? Oh, I want to see that. Beverly Hills Cop could have been such a different <laughs> yeah. fucking movie. Yeah. Oh I want to see God. what the original script is I like. See that. Oh my God! Wow! Yeah. It, it uh, blows the mind. Beverly Hills Body Horror Cop. Wow. <laughs> yep. So in uh, Cobra, Stallone is a cop named Marion Cabretti, aka Cobra, the Cobra, the Cobra. <laughs> who is a part of the Zombie Squad uh-huh. on the Los Angeles Police Department. I was I didn't know that there was such a thing as a zombie squad. What is a zombie squad? I don't squad? think there actually is. They basically work at night and they play by their own rules and they're on call and they use their own car. I guess like he yeah. did. He, did he describe it as the work no one else wants to do. The cleanup basically, crew. Yeah. Wait, yeah. He should have said that. That would have been a you always got better line. The cleanup crew. <laughs> what, cleanup what about the strong arm of the law? Yeah, that too. Didn't use that either. <laughs> they're weak arms of the law. Or they're like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't the do that. Arm. Yeah, you shouldn't, uh, that was that people. dude. He ends up punching. He's yeah. the weak arm. Mm. The suits. Yeah. The suits. Yeah. yeah. Your arms in a suit instead of uh, a lovely trench coat like uh, 
like Stallone that was has a fucking duster, the duster, man. The duster. It's duster. <laughs> well, you had to, to hide all your yeah, yeah. yeah. his arsenal yeah. that he kept his under there. His fucking grenades. Jesus. Even though he grenades. puts his, even though he puts his Cobra pistol right in front of his dick in the front of his pants, that can't be safe. Like I don't know anything about gun safety, Hallie. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not supposed to put your gun right in, like in the your front pants of your waistband, like that? No, right? Not like but you can pull your dick off, right? How like, else are people gonna know he's Cobra? He's got the Cobra on there. He's, he's got to have it front and center. It's like having the badge up front. He should just get a sweet Cobra. Cobra embroidered on the back of that duster. <laughs> that may be too much. He should. And a he tattoo should. probably somewhere. Yeah. Well, oh, he right. did, yeah. bought it. Didn't he uh, have a tattoo? No, no. Everybody else had a tattoo no. in this movie. I was like, I kept, I kept all the cult, cult members yeah. had the tattoo. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. So is the zombie squad, as far as we know, is that like legalized murder? Because they keep talking like about it. like his yeah. tactics. It's like at the beginning of the movie. a he uses uh, a lot of phone books and interrogation and whatnot. Is that how he does? Just like just you know, you beat him with the phone book. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the movie, a psychotic guy goes in and starts blowing up a, uh, a grocery, grocery store. store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not the actual people in the grocery store, mind you, but he has something against the produce. Yeah. He does. Which Watermelons. apparently is all yeah. filled with gasoline for how much it all explodes. It's those amazing. milk cartons yeah. were flying. It's amazing. <laughs> Fuck those that apples. Cart. Yeah. He shot it in the side, yet it blew up into the air. Yeah. Like, it, it got like 10 feet of air. Yeah, it got some good air. Yeah. 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 I mean, other movies, they shoot up grocery stores, but never before has like a cart gone shooting up yeah. 10 yeah. feet in the I've, fucking I've, air. I've shot produce with shotguns. It doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is good to know. Yeah. Uh, but they. Uh, Sounds like fun. Were you just like, I want to go to the shooting range now after watching that scene? Were you like, I've, I've got a place? Uh, it's a grocery store, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is a abandoned grocery store. store. Yeah. Holly puts on a right, duster. That, sh- that schnucks that's been abandoned. She just goes in there and shoots it up. I wonder why they want to. Yeah, you bringing your own produce for that? Or like- the uh, so anyway, the cops. I need twelve watermelons. I need the them cops now. Are unable to get a handle on this situation. You know, I mean, because the guy's in there with the hostages. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. He's not negotiating. He's not talking to him. Yeah, so he's they, not talking to the Poindexter with the bullhorn. <laughs> <laughs> we so don't do want to do? hurt you. We do not want to hurt you. That was all he. <laughs> Meanwhile, said. he's like taunting his hostages by telling them they're free and letting them run away and then shooting them once yeah. they get to a certain distance. Like the most like, dangerous game. It's yeah. like, what the fuck are you yeah, doing? Really is yeah, the most dangerous game type shit. Yeah. And, and you may be thinking like, well, maybe I can get away because he just blew up the store. He hasn't yeah. shot anybody yet. Yeah. He's yeah. just shot everything else. So mm-hmm. you know, yeah. yeah. Why not? Right. Ugh. Yeah. First, that yeah. guy like kind of like. Tiptoes his way toward the the uh, the exit, but he, does. he takes his time. I would have been fucking yeah, right. running. He also took a right turn into a shelf rather That's than right. like a see. left <laughs> turn. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you don't yeah. want to no. It's away. never a straight line. That's yeah. what they always tell you. Zigzag, yeah. zigzag. Yeah. You ever get uh, caught in sniper fire? Zigzag the hell out of there. But because the cops are unable to get a handle on this situation, who do they, they got call in? They got call in the cobra. Call the cobra. the cobra. Call the cobra. Well, at least that's, that's the, what the captain says. Yeah. But Poindexter, he's like, no, 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 no. I don't agree. I don't agree with any of the methods in this movie. This is the great Andrew Robinson, who you may remember from such movies as Hellraiser. He was the dad. Oh, oh right. Shit. I knew he looked yeah, familiar. He the glasses threw me off. He was also the Scorpio in... Oh, in... Uh, oh, was he? Dirty Harry. Really? Oh. That would make two cast members that Stallone recruited from Dirty Harry. Who's the other one? Interesting. Uh... His partner, Brian Thompson? Oh. Gonzalez, oh. Was oh. Santoni. That was Dirty Harry's partner in Dirty Harry. Wow, it's, it's been a hot minute Jesus. since I saw Dirty Harry. Well, you're going to hear yeah. a lot about it tonight, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but why? But it's, it's interesting. Like, the, There's other parallels to it, too. Like in Dirty Harry, Scorpio is like, it's, it's a Zodiac type thing. Where he's mm-hmm. writing notes to the police and everything. And in yeah. this one, this is obviously a comment on the um, uh, Richard Ramirez, the, uh, the, the, night stalker. the Night Stalker, from, who was around the area at this time in uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles. Because this is the Night Killer, right? Night Slasher. Night, oh, night Slasher. Slasher, thank you. And the yeah. guy, Brian Thompson? Mm-hmm. The yeah. Guy they cast as a night slasher. You ever see, do you know what Richard Ramirez looks like? Yeah, um, I'll show you a picture. Yeah, you know. yeah, it looks pretty. Oh he my does, god! He, yeah, he looks just yeah, like at that same mm. severe bone like structure in his face. Yeah. Yeah. I have a better picture of Richard. Look at the fucking teeth on this dude. You know they yeah. really Ugh. missed an opportunity for a joke here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, if they're, if they're commenting on the Night Stalker. Why not have it be the grocery store at night and you got someone stocking the shelves? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> You're already in the grocery store. You're already commenting on the night stock. I'm keeping a tally of Michaela. <laughs> That's one. Just have someone be a, just have someone being a night stalker, you know? Just have let it happen. <laughs> Oh, hey, you're making I want to see how much further we can take this job. No, keep going, keep going. It sounds great. 
I, I maybe I should suggest it to Sloan. You know, he he teased a um Cobra remake earlier oh, this year. He posted a picture on Instagram of like him because actually, okay, so the car that he drives in this oh, yeah, movie, the 1950 Mercury, Mercury yeah. yeah. Mer, mer, mer. Monterey. Monterey, yeah. So he owns that car. Nice That's car. his car. Mm-hmm. Like, was thing. his car at the time, or he has it was his? It, it was his car at the it time, was his, and he, he was still at the owns time. it. Yeah. Lost yeah. it to a, you know, those mm-hmm. uh, companies that have uh, screen-used items. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Screen-used was mm-hmm. trying to auction it off, and there was apparently a legal battle, but he got it back. Mm-hmm. 2011, so he got it back. It was, his it was a big story. Yeah, yeah. He's reunited yeah. with the car, so it's his car. He posted a picture of him with that car. And was like flashback or flash forward. Ooh, and people shit. were like, oh, Cobra, Cobra 2. remake or give Cobra me sequel. Cobra. Why you, not? Yeah, right? yeah. If he's you guys remaking everything yeah. else, give me he's Cobra. Ever been exactly. Yeah. So if yeah. you guys don't follow Stallone on an Instagram, you should. It's, oh, oh, yeah. it's he has so many great throwbacks. Oh, right. It's fantastic. Yeah. 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 That's where he's at. That's his social media. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not yeah. Yeah. Twitter. Shit. Yeah. It's on Facebook. He posts some good stuff. It's amazing. Oh, when holidays roll around, the like. Poorly photoshopped stuff he throws up there is amazing. Really? It's fantastic. That's wonderful. Yeah. The, the 4th of July picture was like him and his wife <laughs> hugging each other wrapped in an American flag. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, it was pretty great. This it does not like, surprise me at all. Yeah. No. It's, it's totally fantastic. You're never surprised by any of it, but you're still just like, I'm glad I saw this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Stallone wrapping himself in the American flag. Mm-hmm. I remember that was a critique of him at the time following Rambo and then Cobra. Uh, the critics didn't like it. It was like, here's Stallone going and, you know, wrapping himself in the American flag again. Mm-hmm. What do they mean by that? <sighs> that he's just Johnny a America and everything? In a certain American like, way that uh, he's, I don't know, he's, is he portraying these characters? It's like, this is this is the American way. Well, I mean, both Something. Rambo dealt with the frustration, I think, with, mm. uh, you know, the idea that, you know, uh, there was something unfinished about the Vietnam War. Mm. So you, Rambo will go in and finish it. And I think Cobra has like a certain frustration with the, the justice, justice system. system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Because it starts off with him, uh, you know, reading off statistics of in America. <laughs> so breaking many. every 20 seconds. Why is it Some weird to hear Stallone like say numbers? We Why all, is that a weird thing? We were all thing? cracking up. Up, and it's not funny. It's not meant to be it, funny, no, but it's so he, ridiculous. Is he sleepy? Like, yeah. it, 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 I just woke up 250 rapes a day. It's like, he's not really heavy <laughs> stuff, but you're just like, what? Or it's him being a badass. That's, That's him trying saying, to be like, a badass. Like, yeah. It's trying very hard. <laughs> like, he's got the badass voice the whole way through this movie, yeah. which is that kind of monosyllabic uh, Stallone grunting. Yeah. So he's mm-hmm. talking like Stallone? Is that yeah. 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 The only yeah. way he knows how. Go ahead. I don't shop here. <laughs> I'm destroy this place. Go ahead. <laughs> Never taking his sunglasses off. I'm a killer. No, you're a disease. And I'm, I'm the cure. <laughs> I don't deal with psychos. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, there's so many. God you guys damn like, it. Okay, within like the first five minutes of this movie, there's so much product placement. I mean, there's product placement yeah. throughout the whole, the whole movie, but the movie. first five minutes is really intense. Well, it does like, take place in a grocery store. That's very but there's true. the Pepsi, and then he Cobra's picks up the cores yeah. and takes a sip out of it while he's in the middle of the shootout with this guy. Because he's a badass. That's what badasses do. Right? They drink cores right before they right shoot. Right off the shelf. Yeah. Nice room temperature cores. Damn straight. America. Hey, if I'm, if I'm yeah. America, yeah. <laughs> hey, if I'm going in to you know, take down a psycho. I'm going to take a drink of beer because, hey, this may be my last time. <laughs> I'm probably going to do a shot. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, grab a bottle of liquor and open yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But if that's the thing, if this is a, like the if it's dealing with like Dirty Harry did, the frustration I think of police officers, maybe the uh, the American public at large, thinking like you know, the idea that you know criminals have rights and that's impeding these uh, the 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 decent cops from putting away like really severe fucked up psychotic individuals right. like the Night Stalker, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they were like, well, they go in front of the judge and the justice system will eventually like let them free. Or it doesn't feel like justice has been done. So the Los Angeles Police Department has said, you know what? We're just going to let our zombie squad like murder the fuck out of these guys. <laughs> it's OK because they're on the zombie squad and we right. got only two guys who do it. And apparently so it's controlled, you know, <laughs> right. and I think the, the mandate may be. All right. Let them attack first. This way you can clearly murder them and you'll be fine. Yeah, because they attacked you. Hey, what does it take to get on the zombie squad? I don't know. I mean, like a Cobra, willingness to do the a things devil may care attitude. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. He's just be a good small anger problem. Yeah. Yeah. Just a small one. A sweet car. A little one. That you're, <laughs> that you're willing to sacrifice and not get reimbursed for. Right? I was like, wait. So I was like, you no, you replace that shit. 
Like, I was like, why? Why do you have to bring your own car to your police job, anyways? Yeah, he's got it all decked out. Like it's it's how it's got nitrous. In yeah, it, it does. does. Nitrous. Like when he needs it. Like regular cop cars yeah. don't have this shit. Like if that's his work car, then they really should reimburse him at the end. Yeah, you would think. Yeah, yeah. but they don't. They don't. Spoiler it's not warning. in the budget. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that car, I'm sure, it costs a god awful fortune. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sure it does. But that's that'll be great when Cobra Two comes out. Like he starts a movie without the car, and yeah. he's like, "I know what." Maybe we do like this. John Wick. He's got to go get back. the car. Yeah. 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 Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. <gasps> do you think Stallone was like, "Fuck, that was my idea"? When he saw John Wick, he was like, "That could have been me in my car." Yeah. God damn it, Keanu. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. That feud, that Stallone <laughs> Keanu Reeves feud. <laughs> it's killing. Hollywood. Never ending. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Um, so Bridget Nielsen's in this. Oh, she is. and they were married at the time. They were. Yeah, this is before her affair with Flava Flav. Yep. For you young kids. <laughs> this is before I'm the sorry, celeb reality. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you what? I know nothing. Did you, you not watch TV in the this. early two thousands ever? I know oh man, celebrity called. rehab. There was that celebrity um, rehab. No, it was no. They were all in a house. The surreal life. The surreal, surreal life. life. Uh, that's it. I, it. I haven't been a big fan. This, of It was like those. the celebrity. I didn't watch Rock of Love. I didn't watch. No, I didn't watch any of them. But you just know about these things. Shut up and you watch them. I hate reality TV with a passion. Actually, I don't really like I it either. It. So, I mean, but I get a few of them. They just I know about these things. things. You have to know about the cultural touchstone. Yeah, yeah. Especially the one that was... Bridget the, Nielsen <laughs> was fucking Flavor Flav <laughs> on that show well, for a long time. For a long... It was a long-term relationship. Did not know yeah. Wow. And she's like two feet taller than him. What the fuck is wrong with Stallone? And she's like, I'm going Did you not watch The Soup? Going to well, that was I many years later. Yeah. Not a lot. Hmm. Where did not, they, not earlier. Where did they meet? Was it? Did they do a movie before this? She was Red Sonia in 1985. Yeah. She did Beverly Hills Cop the year after this. Mm-hmm. So Stallone and her hooked up on this movie, or they were married. They when were was, married before this. When movie. was Rocky Four? Oh shit! That's what it was. There it is. Rocky mm-hmm. Four. Boom. She and Rocky Four. Yes, I know nothing about Bridget Drago's Nielsen. wife. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. F- fun fact. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She looks so different. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you're used to seeing her with short hair. Very that's short why. hair. Okay, yeah. that's why. I couldn't and even place to this day, that's still her hair. So Is it? Very, okay, yeah. that's why I couldn't place yeah. her. Yeah. Um, now I get it. So she. So in, uh, if you've ever watched Tango and Cash, uh, there. Yes. yes, oh, yes uh, we have. You can of check out our episode, right? We have an episode yep. of Tango and Cash. Yep. Um, so Let's redo Tango and Cash. <laughs> we should. I'm all for that. I would gladly watch Tango and Cash. Um, but there is a joke in that movie that is a very deep reference to their marriage. There's a part where. Kurt Russell says to Sloan, would you stop off for a Danish? And no. he goes, no, I don't like Danish, because they were divorced at that point. Oh, oh no! Oh, shit. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Shady. But it's a line. really weird fucking pairing. Anyway, just seeing it those is. two it's so weird. on the screen, because here they have what we assume... Are, is an unedited look at their romantic life, and it's uh, apparently it is. They're a edited. bunch of nerds. Holy shit! That's their relationship. They're nerds. Like That's wonderful. <laughs> it's awkward as shit, man. Yeah. Like the that part where he has that fake cheeseburger in the restaurant is like. It's like your your dinner's ready. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love the little jokes <laughs> in this movie. It was so they're, like, they're cheesy as hell, but, but it's fun. like it's like this weird like offhand. It doesn't seem like. I mean, it seems like a. It seems like Stallone flirting joke. I yeah, guarantee like he improved that. No. Yeah, he right. had to have been brought. He had to be yeah. like, guys, I got this really funny bit with this burger. Let me do it. That, and they were that, like, okay, we can't tell him it's no. It's like he's right. never told a joke in his life. Yeah, yeah. he's like, you got, a, you got a life preserver. Your French fry is drowning over there. Yeah, she does put a shit ton of ketchup on. Sean called her before he even said anything. What is she doing? (laughs) (laughs) You were like, okay, that's enough. That's enough, lady. (laughs) Jesus. Some people like a little fries with their ketchup. I guess so. But those those scenes, that's they probably were improv because they don't feel the like they're really a part of this movie. Mm-hmm. No, little, they don't. They just feel like little little bits of pee. I enjoyed like they, them. Like but they, they really feel... were just having a snack, and they were just having to be filming them. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's something like yeah, something like that. Little improv scenes that don't feel a part of what the written movie well, is. Well, the movie seems to take like a turn. Like after, well, I was going to say after the Brigitte Nielsen character is introduced, but that's not true. It's after she gets out of the hospital. Prior to this, so she's a model, right? Who's uh, oh god, that model, model is shoot we're yeah. going to talk about. But go ahead. Oh yeah, it's a music video, right? Like because this is what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, you know, Rocky was all full of music video montages Montage. and this one's got two yeah. one to uh, angel of the city mm-hmm. yeah and the other one to a, mo- a song called feel the heat, mm-hmm. feel the heat. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> which in the 80s i think every song every other song was called was feel called the heat feel the heat <laughs> um or dead heat 
But she ends up Daddy, witnessing Daddy. the Night Stalker. Night Stalkers? Plural? Night, this is the night Slashers. The Night Slashers, yeah. sorry. And this is the thing. It's like, you know, they think it's a Richard Ramirez type character, but right. they're actually it's a bigger group than that. Yeah. of uh, psychotics who are killing people. They do jumping jacks with axes in their hands. That's yeah. what we're saying. That's it, like that's their ritual. That's a workout routine, yeah. right? Yeah. They like smash their axes together. I mean, it's I don't know. Ritual. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, like, yeah. It's, like, it's like when you go to a, like a job together. that takes uh, a physical job, like in a warehouse or something, and before you start the job, you're like, all right, let's do our stretches for the day. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah. right, let's get everything going. Get and everyone up. gets two axes. So. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the psychology of these psychos. Like, they don't do anything aside from want to kill people. Yeah, they keep talking about New World Order. Yeah. They talk about that a lot. It only gets, at the very end, the head psycho gets to explain what the hell the New World Order is, which is apparently some kind of Darwinian, only the strong will survive. Yeah, they're going to kill all the people, yeah. Yeah, but by killing all the weak... eh. Okay, it's not a very deep thought. No, it doesn't. I feel like the uh, the Night Slasher, like the one, well, I'm going to call him Richard Ramirez at this point, but I feel like he is like, he is the chosen one, and so that at this point, so that everyone around him is in for helping him out. Because he seems to be like the main killer of this one. He's, he's the got one, the signature blade. He's got the blade and everything, yeah. and he's the one actually killing the women and everything. So I feel like he's uh, up on the pedestal, and everyone around him is there to help him at this point. Like if he gets killed or something, they pick a new one, and he's the new head guy. That they, you know, we, uh, we'll do sacrifices, but he has to do them. And everything. Would you say he's the Jim Jones of the Kool Aid Party? I don't. I don't think he speaks to them, though. I think he's just like the chosen one that everyone must. Yeah, he has like zero personality. Right. I don't think he's a speaking. He's not in charge of them. Yeah. He is just. He's just the one that glares. He yeah. seethes. He's got That's that mouth. Brian Thompson's part is yeah. to seethe with rage and anger and go out and kill people and sweat. He doesn't dream it very about well. killing, people, yes. killing people and just sharpen knives. Yeah. <laughs> do these people eat? They just sharpen. I don't them. think so. They just exercise with those axes yeah. all day long. And that's it. Do they live in that warehouse? Do they go home to? Well, we know do that. They, like, the, compound somewhere. Right. <laughs> I think they're just. Uh, I think the point is. Well, we know that, that anybody. We know that, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why didn't this movie end with some like cop cleaning up the scene and then pulling down his sleeve? Oh, to have a tattoo. tattoo. Yeah. Like something that showed that this was still going on. Like this. That's is over. brilliant, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still going. Pitch it for the remake. There yeah. we go. So it's a. We're gonna say it's a cult then of Cobra some, Dose of some type <laughs> the, of psychosis. Well, then yes. maybe not. So there is psychotic? only like 30 people in this cult. It's not that big. Uh, yeah. Stallone kills 30 people <laughs> just coming okay. at him on motorcycles toward the end of this movie. And right. there's still other guys. I'm basing it on that room we saw. That room we right. saw, there was probably okay. like 30 saw, people in like that 30 room. People, yeah. yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't, you know, a huge amount of people. Oh. But they ride around at night killing people in a van. Mm-hmm. They yes, ride it around at night in a van killing people. Furniture? There you go. That makes more go. sense. And Brigitte Nielsen sees this, or she... She sees the lead night sl- slasher. The night slaughterer. The night slaughterer <laughs> on her way to the work at the modeling place. And so this is what then makes her the target of the 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 cult. Yes. So they have to find her and silence her. Yes. And so the next quarter of the movie takes place in it becomes like a slasher movie. Yeah. This is the part I think I like the best. Yeah. Cause I and I kind of wish they'd stuck with it. Ongoing to the end because, like you said, once we get to a point after the hospital and everything, it turns into more like there's an army coming to get them. There's more of these people. I liked when it was just like Richard Ramirez going after her. Like he's a scary dude, and I like that. It's the slasher movie aspect of this. They shoot like, it like a slasher. They movie. do, yeah. and I wasn't expecting that Stalking from this movie. The hotel or the ho- t- t- hospital. The hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I d- yeah. Yeah, where he kills that one woman, and then he's just like the bloody hands as he's mm-hmm. walking through the hospital, slowly walking through yeah. a lot of boots and. Bloody gloved mm-hmm. hands. The way he escaped yeah. was terrifying too. The way he escaped the hospital because Brigitte Nielsen, like, she gets trapped in a closet. He, like, his knife is coming through the door at her, and she gets out and she slams the fire alarm. Which at first you're like, oh, smart move. Mm-hmm. Then everyone in the hospital is walking out casually because you know, like, in real life you never take a fire alarm seriously. You're like, no, you're oh like, fuck, uh, here we go. It's like, oh, you know, smoke. Yeah, <laughs> and so this allows you know the night slasher to just walk out casually and blend in with a group of people. And to me, I was like, oh my god, that's terrifying. Mm-hmm. Like, she yeah. thought she was doing the right thing to get her out of the situation. She kind of just made it worse. He got away. And all he's got to do is take off the blood stained gloves, and he looks just like a normal He's just walking nonchalant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's dyed his hair. Yeah, yeah. Always looking over his shoulder. Mm-hmm. 
scowling. Yeah, he, lo- he totally look looks like guy. a normal dude, too. Yeah. And look for well, the guy they who just have... takes his glasses off and throws yeah. them on the floor. That's your killer. <laughs> well, he had to do that because they had that sketch, uh, mm-hmm. the sketch oh, artist. Sketch oh, of the Steven Tyler. Ske- sketch is, it, <laughs> that sketch pulling is a sketch is being worst. generous. It is like, I don't even, like, like an MS Paint drawing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? Johnson, you can draw, right? Get yeah. in there. Yeah. Like, the I, only I, thing I, that I can think to explain why that looks so bad is that she saw the 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 night slasher at approximately 10 p.m she says right Mm -hmm. then she goes to work then she gets chased the night slasher goes back sharpens his knife uh then uh he dyes his hair then goes to the hospital the cops are there because stallone and his partner have to interrogate her or find out what happened and then they leave i'm like what fucking time a night is this so they obviously got in the second shift Mm -hmm. uh sketch sketch artist. artist right because this is like four o'clock in the morning. Dude needs to be fired. No, it's like, <laughs> like come Johnson, on, man. Why are you drawing with a crayon? But, right? Yeah, it looked like it was done in like crayon and marker. And every police sketch you ever see is pencil. Like they're yeah. never crayon and. They're marker. not going to commit. No, yeah, no, no. 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 Commit like, no. To this like, no, yeah. it's a bit bigger than that because well, they have to try it out, show it to them, and they yeah. be like, no, his nose is bigger. And like, all right, shh. that and the shading and detail that you need to get with a pencil that you can't get with the marker. <laughs> this guy is drawing hard black lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super like, thick, yep, this super is right. thick lines. Thick Cheekbones, lines. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Big mouth. Be on the look sure. for this guy. <laughs> There's no Jesus. detail to it either. No. It is. He's like, is he black? All right. He's like a minimalist sketch artist. He's like, this is the way. Draw. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. None of the cops recognize this you know, the night slasher as he escapes, mm-hmm. so they have to. Then the second half of the movie kicks in, where it becomes a relationship uh, drama between mm-hmm. uh, Stallone and his new bride slash semi robe movie. Nielsen. Well, there's a, ne- a decent car chase that yes. Yes. good car awesome chase. Car I like chase. this car chase. Yep. An awesome car chase. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. fantastic. Lay this out for us. Okay, that part, well, just for me, what sealed the deal for being awesome was when he threw the car in reverse driving it backwards on the highway, shooting at the car behind him, and then flipped it back around and kept going. That's that always, was, I was like, oh my god. If you're gonna is, do an action scene, yeah. like flipping the car around to shoot the guy. Yeah. Yeah, Duh. it's peak. Yeah, it's peak. Yeah, yeah. The car chase shooting. Yeah, it, it's like it's been in diehards. It's in this. It's been everything. Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. And he's driving in reverse. Well, yeah. yeah. it's amazing. At the same speed. Can yeah. you drive in reverse at the same speed? <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Is that possible? Well, I mean, this? but you think about but it. To so throw it into gear and get going. Yeah. 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 Well, and yeah. if you're driving in reverse, you gotta be looking in your mirror, right? But mm-hmm. he's also shooting at that guy. So I he's think looking he was at the guy. Trusting and, her to be yeah. like. Yeah. She wasn't doing Just shit. No. She was cowering in her seat yeah. the whole time. Before or after, he's like, get down. Is that a pretty good one? That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I can only do I am the law. That's the only one I got. But I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's the only one I got. I am the law. I'm doing the uh, Rob Schneider doing so. Oh, yeah. That's that's yeah. That's, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. that's what I'm you, doing. Like, it was dead you, on, dude. You kind of sang it there at the end. I am the law. I am the law. Why is that not a song? Is that a song? Breaking the be. law. Breaking the law. I am the law. Stallone yeah, do that. Judas, this is copywriting Judas this. Judas Priest took care of it. This Breaking is, the law. Well, I want Stallone doing I am the law. I want to, like, a, where they sample him saying that in a song. I just want it sampled in there. I think you could do that. I mean, I'm going to for Cobra <laughs> like, 2. Like, yeah, that's like going to be the credit remix song. Remix it like Baby Driver style. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's just write a musical I mean, that is, is a retrospective of Stallone's career. Let's just write a musical that's retrospective of his career. There you go. Hit all the best points. Oh yeah, and this leave out all the other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> this is something that I'm sure should he be would done. love it. I'm sure he would love it. This would be He'd great. Be so if nothing point. else, can the we just smile get the... has come off of Sean's face at this point. He is dead fucking. Dead. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Or at least can we get him on like James Corden and have him do like the yes. ten minute career yeah. retrospective? Yeah. I would yeah. love yes. to see that. Yeah, I that would that. be great. Has he ever been on Inside the Actor Studio? Because I would watch the shit oh, out Jesus. of that. I, I think know. that would be a very short conversation. I want to hear what his favorite story is. Stallone, I love you, but yeah, Stallone's a pretty smart guy. He like, is a smart guy. I would love. In... I would watch, but that's the one episode I would watch the most. Oh, like, I would Stallone's watch it nonstop. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would watch it constantly <laughs> yeah. because you know he would like get like he loves having his ego stroked. So like the fact that James Lipton's just focused on him for like an hour and a half would just be the best thing for him. Okay. So. He's like, he's Captain like, yeah. Google this shit. We yeah. find out if there is he's inside like, the James was like. Can I speak to Marion? <laughs> <laughs> and Sloan takes a minute and he's like, <laughs> he, he tucks a gun into his waistband. Right, right, right. He pulls like, out a gun out of nowhere and tucks in his waistband. <laughs> but but every time James Lipton asks to speak to a different character, it's, it's just Stallone. The exact same. Like it's just the yeah, same. Exact same. <laughs> he's, Except- like, he's like, hey. 
Yeah. And then he pulls out a trucker hat and turns it. Yeah, right. Turns yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I turn into a machine. It's like a, it's a, it's like a switch. Yeah. <laughs> but he around. got better as an actor after this, at least after this movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Did he? Yeah. I mean, because it seems like, you know, I mean, variations on a theme, I think. Well, yeah, when you're exactly. watching this, it's like this is not too far removed from Rambo. The idea that like the guy is a man of few words, mm-hmm. loud actions, right? And just kind of mumbles his way through. He's not a terribly mm-hmm. expressive guy. No. Mm-hmm. But he is more expressive in like his later movies. Like yes, he's he not yeah. too far away from this. It seems like he was doing, you know, better mm-hmm. yeah. performances. So I mean like he took it Cliff seriously. Hanger. Yeah. <laughs> All the way up to Copland or whatever. Yeah, Copland's a good mm-hmm. one. I mean, even if you look at like recent ones like Creed. Mm-hmm. He's, he's great in Creed. Yeah. He Actually, w- I suppose if you were to contrast any of the Rockies with Cobra, you'd see two different people, kind of, right? I think so. You get the, the bad jokes are kind of the relation between him and Rocky, but yeah. I feel like he has an ownership on the Rocky movies that he doesn't have on other movies that mm. he's done. You know, like he, that's his thing start to finish with those movies that he, as much as he is in control of the process with his other movies, those are like his baby, you know. But this was his opportunity to create like a genuine, one hundred percent true blue American badass, mm-hmm. right? The guy with the matchstick habit. Mm-hmm. So does that mean that he was like a smoker and stopped, and now he's a matchstick? The guy who eats pizza a quarter oh of it, at a quarter at a time, cutting it with his scissors and sitting down and eating his pizza dinner while he cleans his pistols. Yeah, wasn't yeah. it like a? Uh, uh, Fast and Furious is like living life a quarter mile at a time. He's living life a quarter of a pizza. At time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's how it works. Yeah, just imagine guys, you're hanging out with someone and they cut a piece of pizza with a pair of scissors. How do you feel about I, that? I would just be like, feel, all right, we need to stop um, and talk yeah. about this. Yeah. <laughs> because what is clearly this happening you're right now? fucking awesome. Because clearly you have a problem. Either uh, you've seen Cobra and you're obsessed with it. And right, if or if you have is, a problem. Right, I look you've at like, se- if this is because of Cobra, you've I'm seriously, all for it. You've yeah. seriously never cut pizza with kitchen shears. Mm. You've never done this. Never. Just in like, not. That's what a pizza. Everybody stare at Holly uncomfortably for a second. Just to, there we go. To separate yeah. the pieces, I understand. No, that's okay. what a pizza cutter is for. But what, what if your pizza cutter like, the is pizza literally okay, a tool pizza, made for this? Pizza cutters are dirty. They're in the dishwasher. They haven't been run. You're looking around. They're not you don't that have hard any, to wash. You don't have any knives. I have done this. I have, gotten I have done this. Yeah, I've never, never just cut a piece God, of you guys pizza are in animals. half. My pizza you cutter's use dirty. What you have. Yeah, animals. All right. No, my pizza cutter's dirty. Okay. I use shears. You okay. use what's what you do. Like, like, this will work. You say we are not you're, animals. No, you're animals. You are oh, animals. You're cutting animals. it with scissors. Like <laughs> there are oh my tools. God. No, I feel like the so line has been fucking drawn. I feel like we are more dignified for using shears. How about that? All right. all right, you can't yeah. judge right, someone for what audience. they will do when they're alone in the house. You're like, hmm, yeah, I'm going to cut this fucking pizza in half. Hey, viewers, if you've ever cut a pizza with a pair of scissors, please tell us. I have guarantee you, have they you have. Ever been, have you ever been to the grocery store on sample day? They cut it with fucking shears. I guarantee But they're cutting into super have. tinier pieces for samples. Then. They could Just, use a cutter for that. They could. <laughs> and they should. That's Damn. what the tool's for. <laughs> That's what literally its only purpose is and to cut go. pizza. <laughs> Uh, he's also this guy, a master at the parallel parking. Yeah, I mean, if you if you count hitting other cars as being masterful, That's not yes, true. it's not hitting. He's bu- he's, he's pushing, pushing that them, guy yeah. out of the fucking way. He's trying to park in front of his own apartment. I don't blame him. I've been there. It sucks when you can't park in front of the, your own place. You should try the you know? Cobra move. Yeah, and just like fucking move those guys out of the way. Yeah, I saw that on Mr. Bean. Your attach. <laughs> I was gonna say your attach shorter than Stallone, but he's a short guy, so you he's might a short just, guy. It might be the same as him. him, but. He might be a bit more intimidating. Stick a matchstick in your mouth yeah. next time you do it. Get some sunglasses. Just in case. A duster. That, that scene, though, when he pushed the car out of the way and got the confrontation with the dude, mm-hmm. that had the the best payoff to me. <laughs> oh, uh, for that sure. That scene was fantastic when he comes back. Oh, yeah. the line? Yeah. It's bad for your health. What is? Me. Me. No, not that. But later on when he comes back. And he moves voluntarily. He moves voluntarily. Yeah. He's like, you're a good citizen. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is, see, it's little offhand remarks like that that yeah. are great in this movie. That was I fantastic. Love that. Yeah. Okay, so. Also, wait, we can't, uh, I'm sorry, we can't go by it without mentioning that he rips the guy's shirt the That's first time. That's what I was going to ask. Right. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys think? Was he, was that a wire or was that the actor's mic that he exposed? I think it when was he ripped a his wire. Shirt? I think it was a wire. Yeah. He, he should. But that doesn't play into mic. the story. Yeah. At I know, all. I but it's get it. funny. It is funny. <laughs> it's funny now. It I makes don't no know. sense, but it's funny. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever know the motivation of why this guy had a mic taped to his chest, but it is. Here's the thing: it's a canon film. I'm willing to bet sure. it's the mic. <laughs> it might it very well might be the mic, but to but think it's about a George it, George as... P. Cosmatos film, and that man never. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm saying, yeah. he's an artist. Is there a thing where you can say that about no. George P. Cosmatos? I saw Leviathan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's funnier to just look at him and be like, "That guy's an informant." 
he's going to get his ass killed now because yeah. everybody's seen his wire. And that's why he's so he defers to Stallone. And the, well, it's like Stallone knew it. That's why he was like, yeah. clean up your act. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra is stone cold. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We have no reason to think that. But, you know, it's I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's 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 a canon film. So it could either be a complete accident or it could be purposeful. Canon but we'll never know. Canon it equals in, open to interpretation. Yeah, exactly. Camera yeah. angles, though. Like, you yeah. figure if that was like, ooh, shit, we should probably do that again. Right. Yeah. But it's in t- they cut to another angle and the uh-huh. dude still got it. But yeah. this is the movie that had a, this is the same movie company that had a guy dancing with a broom where you could see the string pulling the broom along. So, also you true. know, yeah. that's true. the standard we're working with also here. Also true. But that true. wasn't, they weren't using a, a talent of the magnitude of Sylvester Stallone <laughs> in Breaking. That's a good point. Do you think he improv that and they were like, you know what? We'll keep it. Like, do you think you just like improv ripping that guy's shirt? It's like I just uh, I feel maybe that was the only shirt they had, and they were like, "We can't do it again. We can't do another take." (laughs) Right? Because the sun was going down. Yeah, exactly. We can't do it again. We we didn't bring the lights today. The sun is going down. We didn't bring extra shirt. Yeah, Yeah. he's got one shirt. That's it. You're a good citizen. <laughs> good citizen. Now wash that. my car. I yeah, wanted him yeah. to fucking say that. <laughs> Polish my car. Yeah, keep, he throws the keys to him. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, shit. That's fantastic. Yeah. Had a good payoff. I liked it. Yeah. Did, so we briefly touched on it, but Brigitte Nielsen has an extended modeling scene where, like, you know, she was saying, oh, yeah. the music video. But there's an absurd amount of costume changes and robots in the scene. The like, and this goes on for the length of an entire song. Oh, yeah. It is I, so, they could have had that long. little MTV credit thing at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, and, the and at the end of it. It was a music video. God damn it, I missed those. And there are Dutch <laughs> Dutch angles oh, all over the oh, yeah. scene. I'll, I'll let the uh, the costume changes pass since she is a model and she was doing a shoot. Right. We yeah. will there not are, let the robots pass. There are a lot of costume changes on a shoot. But the fucking robots. There's so many of them. So many. And they're functioning. We see that they have lights that light up and yeah. like stuff. Yeah. I don't know what you, the, uh, they were probably taking a the, like Omni magazine cover shoot. Yep. Sure. Okay, yes, they, they were. Didn't have, what? Uh, women on the, <laughs> Omni was like the before Wired. Like, uh, what year? Colin? So it was a tech magazine. 1986. Basically. Oh, so, ah, so I was cover. one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was the future, that seemed right? Like an, that seemed like an age joke. I don't know. What were you going for there, Holly? <laughs> well, Stallone also, we know, has an affinity for robots, robots. having oh, primarily oh, yeah, placed one true. in Rocky IV. It's true. It's true. I did. I think didn't he get it as a gift at the end of Rocky Three, and then it Apollo, made it, and it reprised its role. Right. Did Rocky Apollo IV. Have one? I thought there was like I think Apollo had one and then he had uh, one I as well. He, or he gave, he gave he one got to it, somebody. He gave he, one for Polly. He get he got it for the the row was actually a gift one. for Polly. Right, and he got a gift and then for it Pauly. just became like part Isn't of the family. Is it disappointing now to look back on old movies and go like shit, man? They used to have robot butlers back in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have them. We don't have them yes, now. Yeah. it's disappointing. I have expected him to have one because his apartment was actually surprisingly modern for yeah, the type of man was. he is. It was a very like upscale kind of modern apartment, so I kind of half expected a robot butler yeah. to roll out at some point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when he was polishing his gun, watching the Toys R Us commercial, another product placement in this movie. That does seem like a model of apartment you would go look at, and this is the Cabretti. Yeah, exactly. uh, there's, pizza, there's pizza in the fridge. Uh, it's very sparse. There's no, there's a tiny television, and uh, the gun rack is in the back. Yeah. The view yep. is spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. The gun rack's in the back. It's in the fucking refrigerator. Basically, right? the yeah, egg it's the egg is where you have your. Uh, well, I think he actually did have the gun like in a suitcase. But the egg well, that was, was later. But the kit for like polishing, yeah. the cleaning right. or whatever. Yeah. And if egg you egg come egg. out onto the patio, you'll see our giant ten foot Pepsi neon sign on his balcony. Mm. Why was that there? Why was there a Pepsi sign on his balcony like, of his apartment? That was like the Kenny Rogers Roasters it, episode. It, of it, exactly. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> and maybe that's why he's the way he is because the neon's keeping him and up keeping all him the time. Oh my god! <laughs> we cracked the code. That's Holy it. shit! It is just. Maybe maybe that's where the the Kenny Rogers roaster episode came from. Maybe they're huge Cobra fans. Maybe it's just those cheap apartments, you know. You're just like, all right, I can afford it. It's like, oh yeah, one thing. Uh, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> the signs here. Cheap, dude. It was on the beach. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Cheap-ish. Yeah. He's a cop. Yeah. How much do you make on the Zombie Squad? Not much, uh, dude. Yeah. 
I they mean, garbage money. They make get paid money. hush money for all the grief that he has to. Has to right, from it feels like he get paid he gets more. Well compensated to live mm-hmm. on the. Beach. I think he would. Like mm-hmm. he's just like, all right, it's a shit job, but you know, you get paid. The guy's more never fucking home. Well, if he is, he's sure. awake. We know because he's an insomniac. Apparently, yeah. the man never sleeps in this entire movie. He's sharp as hell and able to pull off all this amazing stunt action. Never sleeps. Never sleeps. Never gets tired. Never turns off. Never switches off. Never. Nope. Like, never switches never off. Never switch. Brigitte <laughs> never flips him. the switch. Do you ever? Uh, do, you, do you ever get involved? He's like, what with the woman? <laughs> no, with the yes, robot. With the woman, yes, yeah, with yeah. the robot. Yeah. <laughs> no, with your gun. It's clearly she, she was like, like, what was that line? Was socially uh, retarded at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's just like they don't. What say, was that well, line? She's like, what do you do for fun or something? He's like, go out and look for trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they don't make wow. these characters anymore. <laughs> they don't. This they doesn't don't. happen. He definitely There's like nowadays. No, yeah. exactly. No one security. believes it. In, now, in movies now. Yeah. If this was made nowadays, people would be like, he's on a spectrum, right? Like people right. would think he has some sort of like <laughs> Asperger's. Or yeah, something. yeah, something. Yeah, he's cleaning that gun a lot. Yeah. He's got a fascination. <laughs> be like the accountant. Yeah, it basically. <laughs> yeah, like the accountant. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, there we go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Because even the, his moral outlook is very black and white, right? I mean, he mm-hmm. is the guy who goes in like, I put psychos away. I don't deal, or as he say? I don't, I don't deal with psychos. <laughs> I put them away. Or everybody. Something. Says something, yeah. <laughs> he says a lot of things. He says a lot of things in this movie. Stallone is workshopping a lot of one-liners in this. Was, I'm like, all right, yeah. he said the one-liner. This is where he shoots him. All right, he said the one-liner again. This yeah. is where, what's going on? It's like, you, I have there rights. Were like false this starts. Is a, you, you know, you have to, whatever, the law. Like, this is where the Big. law stops. And, and I, I start. start. Yeah. God damn it. He was workshopping a lot of one-liners in this. Definitely. They don't but make they were, movies like this anymore. They don't. <laughs> they, don't. <laughs> they don't. Why? Are we saying this is a good thing or a bad thing? I'll say that. Save it for right. wrap-ups. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. When the mannerisms of, of Cobra and the style of Cobra, does it remind... I know you probably know the answer to this, but, like, did the... For for Sean and Holly, did, like, his mannerisms, mannerisms remind you of any sort of more recent movie you've seen? in the past like five to ten years with him in it or just a just movie? that the, the mannerisms of cobra do they remind you of a character you've seen recently recently mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. give me a hint I think Ryan okay here we Gosselin. go yeah oh i've like, only seen that once all right do you drive. just want me to tell you <laughs> yeah drive. i was gonna say yeah. drive, drive, drive once nicholas wending reffin is a gigantic fan of this movie oh. Oh. and so is ryan gosling ryan gosling modeled driver Character and drive after Cobra. Very nice. And gotcha. borrowed his wow. matchstick habit. Borrowed the matchstick, the sunglasses, oh. the sunglasses, and the matchstick all come from. We're gonna movie. watch a movie again. Yeah, it's it's really similar. It's Goddamn. it's yeah, huh? It's Cobra. a it's a love letter for sure. <laughs> Cobra has a shadow several miles long because. I mean, now you see the poster for the new Wolf Cop movie. Another Wolf Cop. Mm-hmm. It it's is! The poster. Yep. <laughs> it is! <From> Cobra. <laughs> God damn it! Son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Still living on 30 odd years. Still living Wait. on. Oh, That's what happens. You stick with you, you create a poster, you stick with it, mm-hmm. yep. and it will come back. Mm-hmm. You will see it generations on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Well, at the end of this movie, there is a shoot. So, they, well, they, we, 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 did we did you talk about the car chase? Like we, yeah. we mentioned it. We, we mentioned talked it. about we the the it. reverse. We didn't talk about this. The, like the speed, the hurdles, bumps, yeah, the humps. Oh yeah, that like, part was really like, cool. You know, like an homage to Bullet. Or something. That's what I was thinking. It was, thinking. It was like, a lot like Bullet. Go and go yeah. a lot like that. Bullet. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was That's thinking. A good car chase. I love those. The the like the slalom. The hills. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get a lot of air. Yeah, but yeah, That's good. And then hits a fucking power line at the end. Yeah. And, and he's the boat? Chasing. He takes the side off of a boat? He goes through the side yeah. of the car park? Oh, yeah. That was That's awesome. Most, yeah, to catch the fucking bad yeah. guy who's getting away. Like, the they both floor. go into... Yeah. <laughs> The yeah the the, uh, the parking ramp. A par- yeah, the parking. And he's ramp. like going to race across. The- so they oh. don't know that they're both there. But one guy's on the bottom floor. Cobra's on the top Just- floor. Guy on the bottom comes out onto the street. Cobra fucking launches through the air. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. <laughs> I was not expecting like it. I know. I was like I, I see him down there. We're just going through. It's so good. I did not expect this car chase. No, I really I'm not didn't either. Yeah. Well, I've seen other stuff like in that era. You know, I was looking at it, going like. Okay, like, where's the stuff that, you know, people have, you know, lifted from other car chases and yeah. kind of built, you know, and it's like, okay, well, they, they haven't quite got the uh, the fender cam or whatever where you're right now. And there was a couple of shots yeah. where they were following around in motion, 
But a lot of it was, you know. It's mostly wide shots. Yeah, and the car coming past the camera. Yeah. You know, or you were inside the car with, like, watching the driver. Yeah. There were a couple of chase cams, but, I mean, it wasn't as dynamic as stuff, you know, no. done even It was mostly a like, two right, after these this. two cars are going to come down and turn the corner at the same time. And yeah. So yeah. we'll capture that, because I saw that shot a couple times as they were doing it. Mm -hmm. I like that shot, though. Yeah, but, I mean, for the time, I think it was, you know. Something and you establish that Cobra, he's crazy. The fucking bad guys are saying, like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, the bad guy, the driver <laughs> slash sniper, it's like, he's crazy. <clears throat> That's wonderful. Yep. But because the night slashers have an informant in the fucking police oh, department shit. whose name is like Nancy Stock, mm. what was her name? Oh, yeah, Something Officer like that. Stock. Yeah, 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 Officer yeah. Stock. They end up taking Brigitte Nielsen into productive custody, and they go up north, up, you know, going right. to, uh, upstate. Northern California. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Uh, to Foundry Town, this old town that's have you know, used to make steel and, you know, well, I guess it still does. They have an operational foundry. Mm. But I was wondering if that was, like, also some of the thing they were going to have. Yeah, but. Uh, it's the Terminator 2 ending. But before Terminator but 2. But before Terminator 2. Mm -hmm. And the Alien 3 ending. But, so what is it about like you know you're gonna have a uh, why is it gotta be in, why do they go industrial at the end because yeah. it, yeah, it looks cool because it looks cool and it did look cool in yeah. this movie there's mm -hmm. sparks there's a lot of fire to the fire just when they imagery. walk past yeah. that thing where it's just like a cylinder on the yeah. ceiling and the yeah. fire just yeah. 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 yeah that's cool what is that doing what is it doing but, but it looks awesome. really cool Especially and then there's just a there's just a walkway that's just like this is the fire walkway yeah we don't know what it does but it turns on fire when we want it to and it's awesome like a river of molten metal. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's basically. Great. Yeah, there's big metal hooks flying around everywhere. Yeah, a little foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, just swinging around. Yeah. Is it supposed to represent like? Because I'm always like, well, it's like hell, right, or something. But there's also like a heavy metal uh, kind of. I, know, I say that like the, literally, right? Yeah. Literally yeah. heavy yeah. Metal metals. But there mm -hmm. always seems to be that kind of in action movies. These big brawny, you know, productions. You're gonna put like you know. The foundry ending. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what else is like. That's like the awesome end for yeah. uh, uh, the place to set Steel and sparks and fire. Yeah. Yeah. Steel and sparks and fire coming uh, in 2018 by the Saturday Night <laughs> Freak Show. <laughs> the metal storm, if you will. Oh, Colin. Okay. Uh, I'm going to so, fucking hate this movie if I ever watch it. I guarantee it now. I'm just going to hate it. <clears throat> like, this wasn't what I was expecting, Colin. <laughs> Probably not. Probably. Um, yeah, but before that, there's a shootout in this town, which is the thing that's like kind of uh, the, the cops are like, you know, let him take her because uh, the psychos are going to follow her and at least they'll get out of the city. Right. And they're just like, goodbye. Yeah, but they're going to go to like this small town. What is it, San uh, San Remo. San Remo yeah. and yeah. blow the fucking shit out of it. The one tiny mm -hmm. mom and pop hotel. <laughs> it's gone now. Yeah. They descend on this thing, an army of bikers. And this is where you're like, how many fucking people are in this new world order? Yeah. Because there was only like 30 showing up to exercise class. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. maybe there only was 30 because I was counting. Psycho yoga. He did kill like 24 to 26 people. And then there were the like three that made it into the foundry. Yeah. The yeah. total body count for Cobra is 41. For the movie, I think it's 50. Damn. What I read online. Well, he might have killed them like at the. Well, yeah, yeah that's right. 41 Because they were movie, breaking so. into his house yeah. and all this other yeah. stuff. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Colin's not exaggerating when he says like 26 people got murdered at the end. Of this <laughs> yeah. Movie. yeah. And they really did. Yeah. And the, even the, what, the, he lights a guy on fire. Like the guy shoots at Cobra, mm. strikes the oil drum or whatever, the gas drum, dumps all over him. He's like, ah, my eyes. Yeah. And what does he say? He has a right to remain silent. Oh! Which makes no sense. <laughs> you should have said you're fired. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. there's so oh. many better lines. So, so many, many better, better lines. <laughs> the right to remain silent. Just because you're a cop doesn't yeah. mean that's from the way you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. It makes no sense. But it's badass though because he finally gets to put the fucking match to use. Very true. Striking it on his own fucking revolver, lighting the guy in front. Uh. I'm like you just murdered that man. You murdered him. Which then at the end when the uh, the, the the antagonist, the night slasher, mm -hmm. is uh, staring down Cobra. He's like, you won't pig. shoot me, pig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. pig. I'm like, what makes you think that he won't shoot you? Yeah. Have you been paying attention to- Have you to seen anything? Right. I don't yeah. understand the, it makes the no mentality. Sense. Uh, I no know sense. he's a psycho at this point, but the mentality of like, you won't shoot. It's like he shot- Everybody in this he's movie. He's bound by no law or no. honor. Yeah. So. And he even states that before he yeah. will not fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> like you said, this is where the law stops and I start. Yeah. Like, what do you, why is he not going to shoot you? Explain your rationale mm -hmm. to me. 
doesn't make sense. I was kind but of hoping that it's a good scene. It is a good scene. <laughs> <laughs> I like those two just standing there talking to each other and then uh, Stallone dropping like three one liners where I yeah. think it's going to end and it just keeps going. And him using pig as a comma. Pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's walking that. Pig hey, pig. Word. Yeah. What are you doing, yeah. pig? You yeah. want to go to hell, pig? Yeah. Like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> He's really, that guy, what's his name, Brian? Brian, Brian Thompson. Thompson. He's yeah. really good at being sweaty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweaty but, is his but they, they, default it's like, mode. It's like when they, they're all sweaty, but it's like peak sweaty at this point, because when they cut back to the close-ups of these two, like it's just, it's slowly just dripping down their faces. Stallone, it comes back to The him, only light is face. from the reflection of sweat on his face. I That's the it. only light I on him. I love it, though. It's just, like, yeah. just the, yeah. that hard stare, and then just the sweat drips down. That's, it's you know so what, good. That's what I was thinking about these movies. I hate in newer movies that there is like no sweat. No. It's like if I were the, any people in these action movies doing any sort of this insane physical activity, Especially running from people. Especially for as many explosions. I as would be fucking be. drenched. So yeah. I appreciate that about old movies. Especially right. in a foundry where it's going to be hot yeah, already. Exactly. You know? Right. There, in fact, that should be a running joke in movies nowadays. Like, yeah, you no. you your shirt again? It's, that's yeah. what you just I, ran for 20 explosions. <laughs> I sweat oh a little bit. Jesus. Like, have you ever noticed that like in the, like in the Avengers when they're Fighting in New York, none of them are sweating. Like yeah. those guys are superheroes. Though. No, like, Cobra is a Black Widow man. and Hawkeye are spies, and they should be drenched, and yeah. they're not. Captain's yeah. a little sweaty when he takes that mask off. A little off. bit, a little yeah. bit, but he should I, be sweatier. Iron Man's a little glossy. <laughs> yeah, but be I would sweatier. be drenched, and I appreciate that about these old movies. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love it. They don't. They don't. They make with the sweat. Yes, mm-hmm. they're not afraid. Makes you wonder how many sweat roadies are out of jobs now because they don't. Right. Hire them ah, now we anymore. have digital sweat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Add some drops to that man. <laughs> like all these sweat roadies have reels of like I did Cobra, I did I did Predator Two, I did all these That's sweaty movies. That needs to be a thing. I like, just the, like we need sweat man. The what, real what have you done sweat. Before? Yeah. Like, oh, I did sweat Stallone specialist. Sweat. Yeah. I did Schwarzenegger sweat. Yeah. I did Bronson sweat. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I did one Chuck Norris sweat, but you know he's not a sweaty man, so we didn't. He's not. Him. Chuck Norris is not sweaty. <laughs> he's not sweaty man. No, no. <laughs> He's I, a I did Danny himself. Glover sweat Predator 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now that's that glistening good. sweat right there. Glistening. glistening. I can make your actors glisten. Yeah. Hire me. <laughs> sweat Wrangler. <laughs> well. Uh. <laughs> it needed to be talked about. It did. Yeah. It needed to be mentioned. No, no, Look no, at the no. cover of this. He's sweating. He's sweating He's right sweating. there. He's glossy. Yeah. You know, I'm genuinely concerned there are people out of work right now because they don't do sweat in movies anymore. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> they know? do. You just don't. I actually was watching a special feature on Kong Skull Island this afternoon, and there was a sweat wrangler. All oh, right. All right. Okay. So really? I, I feel better yeah, now. Like, oh, I feel better. Sweat. I don't think I need, you know. Yeah. yeah. So really? There was that's a sweat wonderful. wrangler. You, you literally she was joking. I feel better. No, 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 no. You literally just described That's my dream job. Tom, <laughs> Tom Hiddleston sweat wrangler. Hey. Dream job. That needs, you, why don't you have this t shirt? Why did yeah. I, Oh god. You yeah. have this t-shirt. Oh, god it's, fucking, it. it's like shirt open Tom Hiddleston mm. and then you're just on the back. Tom Hiddleston. Sweat. Interchangeable Tom H's. Just, yeah. right, all, just, of just all of them. I'll just all of them. I'll do it. Yep. That's my job. I there need that go. job. So how does Cobra wrap up for the the folks at home? Now, obviously, like at this point, they lose their guns. Because they have to. You can't just shoot your bad guy. I mean, you can, and it does happen in movies, but not in this movie. Well, usually it's the just the challenge to the man who a man. Like, anybody yeah. can shoot anybody. But, you know, you really have to be proving who you are by fighting, you know, with your bare fists. Yeah. And knives. That doesn't Spiked happen. knives. Yeah, yeah, they fight with spike knives. Spike Where knives. Where's a Cobra's gun? Oh, because he's got that fucking awesome machine gun he with the does, laser with the fucking on laser. Because yep. he's awesome. Because yeah. <laughs> he's awesome. What other movie hero has Why a fucking on the tag machine like, gun with awesome. a laser sight? Right? Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. When why you're shooting a machine gun, why do you need a laser sight? You don't. <laughs> well, see, so on the video box art, he is the holding. Video box art, yes. He is holding the laser gun. Why is he not holding his signature Cobra pistol and stuff? Because that one's awesome. This yeah, one's yeah, awesome. but like the. The oh, you know what? I think Cobra pistol is yeah, so but if cool. You saw the full size poster. We're it's have to look probably this in up. his belt. Ah, yeah, ah, yes, the stand up uh-huh. in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> if I, yeah. Colin, I swear to God, I don't care how much it costs. If I ever find it, I'm buying it for you. I will buy it for you, and you will stand up. You will exhibit it. <laughs> yep, right with pride in the corner down here. Igor oh, yeah. will love that. He would I would love, love to that. Hang out with that because I'm, my wife would let me have it, but I will give it to you, and we will co-own it. Oh, awesome! Because God damn it, that is you own it. I'll just I'll display. Right, exactly. You guys can. Split up weekends, you know. Mm-hmm. Sean, take right, a one weekend. Yeah. Join custody. You know? Yeah. Like, what are you doing this weekend? Um, I have Cobra this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be badass. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. If anyone out there knows that this exists somewhere, please send us links. 
<laughs> please. To eBay. Oh, please. <laughs> That's right, because we want it. Yes. Yep. Well, he ends up, uh, as a spoiler. I mean, well, there was a foreshadowing the fucking earlier. guy on the hook. Yeah. 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 Texas Chainsaw Chendum. Massacre style. Oh, into the furnace. Into the yeah. furnace. Into the fire hallway. Brutal. That exists for no reason. Yep. <laughs> You gotta heat up some mail, but he sends it like it's great. Like he sends him in there and just watches him go off, and then mm-hmm. yeah, because he knows he's fucking killed. This guy. He knows he's won. At that yeah, point, it's done. Like, you know, he's a very like mild mannered uh, guy, Cobra. Even though yeah. his superiors suggest that he also is a psycho, right? But he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't get like angry or anything in his like yeah. everyday just a small out of linger the problem. Thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah. but he, it yeah. is. It really is. It's just small. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He yeah. seemed pretty chill when he was in his apartment just cleaning his gun, watching yeah, yeah. the Toys R Us like, commercial. What, you know? Everybody's yelling yeah. at him. He responds by basically being cool, except when uh, the reporter uh, at the beginning gets on his case about, like, didn't you use excessive force? He's yeah. like, excessive force. Grabs the guy and you know, shows him the- Tell that to his family. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. That's the only time he really got angry, right? Yeah, pretty much. That one, yeah, and then he he yelled like once in this movie. He's like, get down, get yeah, down. I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, that was well, a pretty good yeah. uh, mm-hmm. uh, lip droop. I'm better it. at the <laughs> lips than the than the sound. Like, ah! <laughs> well, and then the whole movie, we're waiting for him to punch the the uh, mm-hmm. straight the straight lace cop. <laughs> yeah. And he finally does at the end. Mm-hmm. That was Thank a God. long time coming. I it thought was. he did that earlier on. Yeah. To be honest with you, because it seemed like there was a moment. Oh, but it was because the partner said, like, you know, I'd like to punch a hole right yeah. in his chest. Yeah. Yeah. But he does mm-hmm. uh, clock that guy a good one. And that's basically the end of our movie. You know, I can place the, the time that this movie came out must have been like peak Stallone because so. this was the year of the Barbara Walters special. And I know that because it started with Stallone riding Barbara Walters in on the bike, just like he does with what? Bridget Nielsen. Jeez. What are you talking really? about? I need Was to this see the Barbara what? Walters interview? Yeah. Well, you know how she did like before the Oscars every year, she would do like these interviews with four people every year. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this must've been Stallone's or like, you know, this is when the peak interest was there in Stallone. So she did the interview with Stallone and they show like, well, it's just Stallone. It's blah, 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 blah. Right. The and wa- like, they're walking. Yep. Yeah, and it's her, <laughs> it's him driving the fucking bike and her riding on the back. Oh God my damn. God. Wow. Barbara Walters. Like what a life. Because of COVID, right? <laughs> that was 1986. Yeah. What a life. Yeah. So does that bring us to the conclusion of our Cobra discussion? I think before? so. It's almost a shame that it's over. Well, we are going to get to talk more about it yeah. one-on-one as we yes. do our wrap-ups. Where you're going to find out, listener, who liked it and who fucking hated it. Because right. it always shakes possible. up that way. That you Colin think liked Waterworld. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's a surprise to me. But I recommended Waterworld. Who's going to recommend Cobra and who's going to tell you to run right the fuck away from it? But first, we're going to answer some mail. So we Ooh, need to summon mail. our mailman, Igor. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. I thank you, Igor. Now he's wearing the postman outfit from (laughs) Kevin Costner. You're a weak lady, Igor. (laughs) Should he be carrying like a whole book of matches around in his mouth like that? (laughs) I'm gonna get it out. Put it down. (laughs) Put it down in your mouth. Right now. <laughs> like, Put it down. <laughs> a little worried. Idea, a little too he seems yeah. flammable. He seems flammable. It's you know, I'm probably like it's that old He's greasy. Yeah, it's not gonna work out for him. Like, don't do that. Well, he's he, doesn't, he doesn't know how to rip matches like Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's only he got the, the whole one box in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Uh so this week, uh this is uh, Mark's a milestone in uh the Saturday night freak show because we got our first ever fan art. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Fan sent to art. us by a listener named Raven J, and he sent it because on the Thank Lost you, Boys episode we were joking about uh, horror movie pinups, mm. mm-hmm. and Raven actually drew one and sent it in. Uh, to which Nick Hammond wrote in and said, "He says I want this thing on a Saturday Night Freak Show T-shirt." I'm so all for it. Go. So I like it. I, I like it. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, Raven. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. We really yeah, appreciate it's it. It's awesome. If anybody else wants to send in fan art, hey, we'd love to see it on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or you can send it on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. 
Or you can email it to us. Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com. Or you can get a, send it to us on Instagram or tag us on Instagram, Saturday Night Freak Show. I think I saw this mm-hmm. fan art in there. Yeah, check yeah. out the fan art. It's on Instagram and Facebook. Yep, we have a it's post. Awesome. It's awesome. It's so cool. really awesome. Check out the, he's yeah. holding a little iPod that says Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. great. <laughs> I thought the mom tattoo was a nice touch. That's true. Uh, it's that very really good nice for touch. Jason <laughs> Pinoff. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the mom tattoo. If you have Works anything, perfectly. if you have any fan art or anything like that, we love this shit. Oh yeah, like it makes real. our day. Oh yeah. yeah, we love. Oh yeah, yeah. If you write to us, I pretty much cry. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, uh, that's you know. No, and like, Igor gets fed that week. You right? know. Yeah, so. yeah. Like yeah. if you don't, he just we forget. I'm sorry, <laughs> Igor, but if you don't write to us, like we forget he's here yeah. and he doesn't eat. <laughs> so he, he you, has a you job don't have to do. You don't so. have to comment questions about the particular movie we're watching or have watched. You can comment anything. Comment yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. Tell Qu- tell ask us, us any questions. Comment anything. We love it. Tell us what the weather's like in your area. Yeah. Where are you from? Who are I love who, it. Who are you? Yeah. You know us. Who yeah. are you? What we are love you it. doing? Yeah. All there right. you go. Well, maybe you'll get that. What did you ask for earlier? You were going to make a, a, like a mix, not a mixtape, or a mashup of... Oh, yeah. The, the remix of uh, something. <laughs> Stallone. Go. Just the same oh, yeah. <laughs> Make some Baby Driver type remixes yeah. of yeah. Cobra. Of yeah. anything yeah. in Cobra. Yeah. Oh, really. yeah. For, for the musical... Or, we talked about a lot of stuff we'll today. Play yeah. that shit. We'll play that <laughs> shit on the air. About. And also, if you don't forget, if you cut pizza with scissors, please tell us why and yeah. why you like what happened and to you to Michaela cause that. Not think you're a horrible person. No judgment. What trauma I, happened I in will your not life? Judge you, no, will. no judgment. I will not. Uh, well, a Twitter user named MFL wrote in and said uh, the favorite his favorite scene from Cobra is Co- Cobretti's parallel parking job. His favorite quote yeah. is "You're a disease and I'm the cure." He <laughs> says the song "Feel the Heat" ranks the up heat. there with "No Easy Way Out." You're the best. Fight to uh, survive and stand no in the fire. Out. Yeah, Damn. yeah. Spot on, man. But not like Angel it. in the City. MFL. Mm-hmm. Angel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're all feeling that one. He's also asking, could Michaela extend her canon film series <laughs> through the end of the year? Please review <laughs> Superman 4 and Going Bananas. Well, Shit. Superman 4 has been done, right? No, we Superman, Superman 3. Superman 3. Oh, four. Oh, it, five, did, four it did not really make bad. me want to watch 4. Yeah, I'll no. tell you that much. Okay, 4 is like the quest for peace? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I'm going to be like honest. Nuclear Man? No. I don't <laughs> I, know if we can do that one. I'm going to be honest and say I, I am in the mood for some horror movies, so uh, this is the last stop on canon for now, but there's no... Right. I mean, that... I mean, we'll come back to it eventually. I'm sure. Like, we'll come back to it. Canon, Canon will be back. So, yeah. Libraries. Canon on. will be back. Yeah, we'll like, be back. But for now, I, I, you know, we've watched a lot of awesomely bad movies. I would like to watch some legitimately good <laughs> yeah, movies. Yeah, we need to get, so, get free. I need a palate cleanser. Show, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and about our Lost Boys episode, Ben Harris writes in on Facebook. Uh, we were talking about the uh, the thirst and the uh, the tribe, the tribe. The sequels. Yeah. yeah, and talking about like what how long Corey Haim was in those movies. Ben writes in and says Not Corey long. Haim was only in some short scenes. I heard his drug taking on set was so bad they couldn't get much footage of him. It's really sad, actually. I heard he was a really nice guy, but the drugs got the better of him. That's yeah. a bummer. That's what I hear That's too. That's really sad. That's he had a lot of abuse in his life. It's really sad. Yeah. He's yeah. a traumatized man, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that uh, brings us to our wrap up segment <laughs> of our show where we're going to go around the room, find out, find out what everyone thought of Cobra. Colin, if we didn't already know <laughs> from the <laughs> multiple podcasts we did before this where Cobra was mentioned, I have to ask what did you think about Cobra tonight? <laughs> I fucking hate this goddamn... No, Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't get to joke about that. Be true to yourself, Colin. Sean and I are about to walk out if you don't change your tune right Fuck now. You. I would. I might be done with the podcast. If you were you're right like, there, you're like, like I've had it. You are... You cannot string me along this... No, <laughs> this is not something you can... You can't just pull that and you turn. No. Um... Yeah, uh, Cobra is like it's one of the it's a it's a it's a strange movie in that I don't actually think it's re- like a really good movie. Uh, it's super enjoyable though. This is the thing about it. Like I have a lot of fun watching Cobra, but I recognize that there are f- it, it's it is the type of movie that is parodied now. You know, I mean the the bad guys don't have any kind of backstory. I believe some of this stuff was cut out. 
um, Michaela, maybe you mentioned earlier, but there a was cut. a 40 minute longer cut of this movie. Yeah, it was originally an X rated movie that had a lot more violence. Like there was a scene in the supermarket where someone got their hands chopped off and like. Really? Because there's yeah. like no gore in this whatsoever. Yeah. That's there's, incredible. Yeah, there was like they cut it all out to make a more digestible rating, wow. rating basically. But there are torrents floating around on the internet of like, they're not good quality or anything, but of the full cut. Shout Factory, come on, give us a full <laughs> cut of Cobra, please. Like, I would doing? get the Warner Library or whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. They don't mm-hmm. have Warner. So, yeah. yeah. Shout yeah. Factory, unfortunately, true. on that one. Yeah, but I think, maybe? I think uh, Warner these, Archive. These weird yeah. cuts of their catalog of movies are making a comeback. So, hey. Yeah. Well, they maybe. said that there were, you know, obviously David Rash, who was, uh, I remember him from a a TV show called Sledgehammer, which was like a joke uh, cop thing. But he's the <laughs> photographer. He had more scenes. There were scenes of the cultists in their regular everyday life, kind of ah. like Lord of uh, Illusions. Sure. Cool. That was cut out of yeah. Lord of Illusions. Sounds awesome. The, so um, they not only cut the movie for content, they also, I guess, uh, Stallone panicked or the studio panicked. Uh, because this was, I think, released the same weekend as Top Gun. Yes. Oh. And knowing that it's... they were going up against Tom Cruise, they wanted to be able to have, or maybe it was Canon, right? Mm-hmm. They wanted to have uh, more showings per day. Mm-hmm. So they wanted to cut it down to oh, like 87 minutes or whatever the yeah, running doesn't, time is. Yeah, 87, it does not even hit 90 minutes. Yep, wow. 87 minutes. Yeah. yeah. It was so they'd have more showings during a day, op- during the day opposite Top yep. Gun. Um, so yeah, you figure that there, it, it does feel like there is character development was the thing that got left on the cutting room floor, Mm -hmm. you know, more stuff about Brigitte Nielsen, more stuff about, you know, like how these, I guess how the psychos work. I don't understand it. It's cartoonish. They're just murder machines. People who live to murder, you know, I mean, they have a philosophy later, but it's like. Uh, it's you know I don't know it just seems superficial kind of thin. at best yeah just know. to have an antagonist for <laughs> your action movie tan. I mean I get what they're trying what I suppose what he's trying to do is just say that these people are pure evil and the law is not set up to deal with the absolute evil in humanity and so in order to do that we have to have a fantasy character the fantasy um, policeman. The Cobra, you know, or Dirty Harry. It's him trying to be Dirty Harry, where I'm going to, you know, set society's um, injustices correct by being able to go out and just you know, wantonly murder. He has a little, a little more leeway than most cops, <laughs> yeah, to say the least. Which he is like the judge, jury, and the executioner, which is I ironic love. because he does yeah. play Judge Dredd later in his career. <laughs> Um, which in that movie doesn't like address any of these issues. It doesn't feel like the right. same way. It's like it's weird that that concept with... works better in this movie. Yeah, than it does movie. in yeah. Judge Dredd. Yeah. So it's an interesting bit of uh, you know Reagan era social commentary, seeing where we were at that period in time as an action movie. I think um, you know it holds up pretty well. You've got uh, you know that chase scene did like when we were sitting here watching it. I think all of us kind of responded to it. It was like. Yeah, this is actually pretty decent. It awoke and Holly. It apparently. did. But it I, did. I realized too that it's like, man, I haven't seen like a chase scene like this in a while in a movie. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I mean, you got like the bigger ones, the Mad Max, Fury Road. Right. Or, or you know, there's stuff like, uh, I mean, I Fast suppose. Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, but I haven't been paying attention to those. They're, right. they're so artificial, you know, in there. Yeah. The, the, the CG enhancements. They're very so you're looking at something yeah. like yes. Drive or the Bourne very you know, mm-hmm. movies or something. Baby you know, Driver. Baby Driver, baby yeah. Driver. yeah. Baby Driver. Yeah. Was like, oh, shit, we can't. Okay. Yeah. 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 You got me. <laughs> baby right. Driver's the best example we have. Yep. I'm dropping Fantastic. that point then because. Right, there you go. There you go. But this was a pretty decent like 1986 era uh chase scene and the action then that you know comes in the end is like man it's okay um i know stallone was nominated for a razzie he's not the most uh for this performance he was he's not the most uh expressive guy but you know it's all in the eyes but that's not what you come to stallone for. no right you know you come to see him kick ass i suppose and he is kind of a one-dimensional hero and you know it I think as an action movie, it services, uh, you know, the audience the way that they expect, you know, what they expect to get out of it. And um, <clears throat> strangely enough, like in my estimation, I do like this movie. I'm going to recommend it. But like this has floated to like the top, not the top, but in the, the upper echelon of like memorable, Sloan, like Sloan movies that I would 
you know, talk about often, yeah. Yeah. As, uh, as you've noticed and on have, this show. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, it hold up as an example of, like, what's a good Stallone movie? Yeah, have you ever seen Cobra? Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I know, you know, it's like First Blood and Cobra and, you know, then where do you go? I mean, I put that up over probably Demolition Man or Cliffhanger. I know. I know. What planet am I from? Mm-mm. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, so there's Cobra. I would say you got to check it out. You just have to realize that it's, you know, uh, you can have fun with it. I think you can laugh at it and enjoy it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Sean, what do you think of Cobra? Now, the suspense, right? Right. You've been waiting all this time to see it. What do you think? I think that I absolutely love this movie. (laughs) Love this movie (laughs) so much. I don't know where to begin. I love, first of all, I mean, it's a script written by Stallone, which, I mean, I don't know why. It just doesn't fill me with confidence when you see that title at the beginning of this movie. You don't know why? He, he was oh, so <laughs> nominated <laughs> for Best Writer for Rocky. He was. He was. was but he? but, Wait, that, but that was like peak. Yeah. No, he was. Yeah. yeah. He was, yeah but yeah. that was like, but that's uh, so totally different than every other movie he's this in. This was written you by know? an Academy Award nominated writer. That's all I want to <laughs> say. It was. Like, why are you it filled with doubt? Was. I don't get it. That's, oh, okay, that's very true. But I just, I, I love... I I think I I love this movie. Like it's I like the action the action stuff. Or let's let's break it down. The action stuff I think is very good. Like we said, the chase scene. Um, I like the scenes earlier where because you know you get kind of like two different movies in this. Like as we begin earlier on, it feels like a serial killer movie because we don't expand the scope of our cultists and whatnot. So you don't get to see that quite yet, but you get that serial killer vibe with Brian Thompson, which I I love, especially because they relate it to he's the night slash. And I mean, obviously, that's related to the Night Stalker uh, stuff with Richard Ramirez that was going on at the time. And just the way that's shot and everything, like, I, I really like that. I think they do. It feels it uh, kind of intense to me. Like, I, I really like that. It expands later on when, you, you know, the whole cult kind of comes after them. And that's where I think more of the action comes in, uh, especially that chase scene. That's kind of sold it for me. But the little moments, like... Character development is sure not a big thing in this movie, but the little things where he like he grabs a big giant burger and holds out and is like, "Hey, you're." I think you love ready. that scene. I, it's really good, but just like you're a good citizen, like just no, that, was that was funny. That was funny. To this, the banter between him and his partner, like it's it's not bad. Like I really like it. Like I. L- I love this movie. I, I'm a big fan of Cobra now. After all the talking that Colin did, I really like this movie. It's some good stuff in here. Like, you know, it's not high art, but it's really entertaining. It's fun to watch. It's a quick watch. It is, yeah. I recommend the hell out of this movie. Like, I really liked it. Yeah, I got no problems with this movie. Watch watch Cobra. I like this a lot. It's really good. <laughs> Why didn't Holly like it, Sean? I don't know, but I really like this movie. I had a fun time watching this movie. I rec- I think you will too. I recommend this movie. Um, I yeah, okay. I'm I'm really crime. It is a disease, Holly. I'm really I'm really half and He's half on this cure. movie, dude. No, I'm really half and half. Like this whole time, he cuts a pizza. I- <laughs> you pro pizza I am pro so. I am pro kitchen yeah. shears on a pizza. Pro pizza scissors. I'm I'm pro kitchen shears on a pizza. That's true. Is there um, not an infomercial for pizza scissors out there somewhere? Ooh, there, is, make there is. There is actual, make it. No, there is an actual device. It looks. It's got like <laughs> so no, stupid. So listen. It's so like listen. Re- no. Re- the wheel. Listen. A pizza. Listen. It is kitchen shears with like a pie scoop. So you get the perfect pizza oh slice God, when you cut it. So so dumb. <laughs> it exists. So clearly, I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, pizza cutters. That's all I'm gonna say. Pizza I use cutters. I use those too. Sure. Anyway, um, yeah, I am so like I have like a serious pro con list with this movie. It, it, okay, the dialogue. Con, not enough one liners. <laughs> oh god, the dialogue is so bad. It's so but it's bad. So good. It's so bad. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I audibly sighed from the stupid one liners in this movie. Like really, really. It, uh, okay, not just that because I mean I I will agree with you, Sean. Some of those one liners are funny. They are. I will agree with you. They made me so happy. Uh, but uh, but when you say this movie was like two different movies in one, I agree, and I don't think that was a good thing. 
Like the first half of this movie, I was like, what the fuck is going on? I, I don't understand why anyone is motivated to do any of the shit they're doing. It was very... It was very all over the place to me. At halfway through the movie, I completely forgot about the NWO or whatever they were, NWA, whatever the fuck they were. I was, I they totally were forgot. Not the NWA. NWA. They no, were not NWA. definitely not. <laughs> whatever they were, no. I totally forgot about them. Uh, there was just such a weird placement. I don't know. It was like, and then they would show the axe part again, and I'm like, oh yeah, these weird fucking people in this furnace room with these axes. I don't know what they're doing. It just, it was very all over the place for me. Um, the acting is awful. It's absolutely awful. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh god. However, that was that was one of the coolest car chase scenes I've seen in a movie. Like for any car chase I can remember. Like it really was up there with Bullet. It was really awesome. Um, I'll give you that. And it 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 was a quick movie. It I didn't get bored with it. Um, God, I'm so torn on this movie. It's so, yeah. Just be true to yourself, Holly. Yep. It's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just, like, if you don't like it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but I, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I just... You're only it's, disappointing your colleagues. It's fine. <laughs> it's not my favorite Stallone movie by any means, but it was enjoyable enough that I would say if you are a Stallone fan and you like a good... Guilty pleasure cop movie. You should probably check it out. Don't put her it up. If you don't like it, Holly. If Holly, if you don't, you can like recommend it, with caveats. Just don't, if you no, want. No, <laughs> just don't. Just like, you don't have. No, just don't. I know that. I know. I do what I want. I'm just saying. Like I'm. I'm very torn. I'm legitimately torn on this movie because I really disliked parts of it, and then other parts just I thought were enjoyable as hell. Do how much weight do Brigitte Nielsen and robots carry for you in this movie? Oh my god! What's that I, currency? Yeah. yeah, that was fucking bullshit. Was so, <laughs> I don't know what weird back alley model shoot she was doing, but it was fucked up. So like, yeah, you should get naked now. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that was what they cut for the X-rated version. Like seriously, she, she actually did get naked. Yeah, right, no, because then because then the next scene was the dude walking out in the parking garage where they're like, "Yeah, you should sleep with me." Not like not because you don't want to, right, because for, for your you. career. For yeah, for your career. Yeah. For, I just I'm want trying, you to be happy. This is not about me. Yeah, like, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Yeah, so that oh, that was rough. That is the greatest. That was rough. Mind fucked like this. And then and then he you. goes and then he goes. Where do you want to go to dinner? Because I know I'm going to need some time to talk you into this. Like he was very. Yeah. It was. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the, like the parts that I didn't like, I really didn't like. However, it was entertaining enough that I I can say I will recommend Cobra. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've done this for every canon movie so far, so I'm going to do it again to wrap up this season. So uh, we're going to play Price is Right rules. You want to guess how much oh. the movie made at the box office? Can we, can you I will give you the, the budget. budget? Yep. Yeah, the budget for this movie, this is one of the most expensive canon films of all time at $25 million. Whoa. So Price is Right rules. You want to guess what it took in at the box office, Colin? $65 million. Sean? I'm going to say $57 million. Holly? Mm. $50 million. Colin, you are correct. This movie made $160 million. What? what? This movie, $160? Are you serious? This movie was a gigantic hit, guys, financially. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Look at that fucking post. Look, look at it. it. <laughs> look at those sunglasses. That's why another wolf cop. Yeah. Now, by that rationale, <laughs> watch we'll out. Do yeah. crazy business. It critically was not received very well, but financially fucking killed um another thing about this movie is stallone um when asked how he would describe marion cobretti said he is bruce springsteen with a badge oh my god he's born in the usa <laughs> i yeah. was like i'm not i'm not seeing the right, connection right. He, was, <laughs> he was born to run <laughs> and I, that's that's the best i can think of like i'm not really seeing the connection very yeah. much here but uh, I love I love Stallone at his cheesiest. I th I like I mean Rocky is great. It's whatever. It's Oscar nominated, Oscar winning. But like that to me is in a whole. That's a different side of Stallone that I n I'm not as interested in. Do you know if he named his character Marion because that's John Wayne's real name? That is that's exactly that's, where it comes from. That's what I was okay. thinking. Yeah, that is yeah. exactly where it comes from. Right. Actually, um, that's I, great. Yeah, I like I like Stallone at his cheesiest. I love it more now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the cheesier, the more one-liner, the more ridiculous the plot, the more I love Stallone movies. I mean, my favorite ones are, you know, Cobra, Over the Top, 
uh, Rhinestone. We, we've talked about these before. <laughs> Demolition Rhinestone. Man. Demolition Man, you know, like the more ridiculous the situation he finds himself in, the more intrigued I am. And I like that this is like a watered down, dirty Harry with Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's a really interesting combination. I like that. I, I do agree with Sean. I wish that like the, the slasher aspect would have carried through the plot a little bit more. Yeah. I think it would have made um, more suspenseful, especially, and I forget to, we've, I think we all forgot to mention the score of this movie. So it 80s. Seem, it seems so 80s, but it feels like it's meant to be more suspenseful. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. it feels like a more a slasher. It's not an action movie score. No, it's no. not at all. It's a more serial killer slasher score. No, that was right. found that even was later most, on stuff. That was the most like, interesting part of the it movie. It was. I really whole, like yeah. that. And I wish they continue that on with, like, I wish the story had continued on with that. Because right. it was really good and yeah. very strong with that. When we, we were even joking about the hospital scene when, like, he's coming after Brigitte Nielsen was, like, Halloween 2. You know, we were like, oh, yeah, yeah here we go. Like, this hospital's in high alert because, you yeah. know, this is a thing. Even had the, the boots and the yeah. jumpsuit, like, yeah. it was all there. Uh, I wish that would have been carried through the movie a little bit more. Yeah. How And, like, yeah. I don't understand his fascination with food and telling everyone that food is bad for them. And, like, like he's constantly telling his partner, like, sugar's bad for you. That's the reason why you have all these problems in your banter. life. And, like, you know, it is it, though? Is it good I like answer? it. I like, like it. No, Whether it's good or not, I like it. I think Stallone thinks it's really funny. Is I what think I he think. does. I think yeah, he, he thinks definitely it's really thinks funny. funny. He does not understand humor. It, no, he doesn't. <laughs> as, as, you know, exhibited in the your, your meal is ready fucking hamburger prop. <laughs> Just so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a giant it's a giant burger did everybody yeah. see this it's yeah. a giant but burger I'm gonna delivery. buy you a giant burger yeah. please do <laughs> it's, it's like deli- a triple stack yeah. Yeah. that's big it was huge it's his delivery on stuff that is not is, right. isn't what sells the joke cause he's like, he's like hey this is a joke yeah. <laughs> 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 however yeah i think this movie's great because he's clearly it's very first draft feels like the script was like the first draft and they just went with it yeah um because there's a lot of one-liners that don't really fit the situation or don't really pay off in the way they should um and and like we talked about the slasher thing doesn't follow either through it turns into a chase movie which turns into like a biker shootout yeah um so it's mixing It's very different... like okay corral at the end. Yeah. And yeah. not in a good way. But it doesn't have the pacing of like a Western right, though at the, the end. Best it's way. <laughs> it's it's pacing at the end is is strange though. Yeah, it um, is. It really is. That being said, it's a lot of fun. I think it's worth it. I think if you can look past the product placement, which is obscene in this movie, um Pepsi. and the little problems it does have, it's a lot of fun. Like just just turn your brain off and watch it because it's a lot of fun. But I would definitely recommend it. All right, well, that's Cobra. And this that is uh, Cobra. That is Cobra. We've been waiting so long. We've been so long. <laughs> so next week, we hope you'll join us. Uh, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin! Well, I guess we're going to have to do The Clearinghouse, Sean. It's going to have to be oh. Metal Storm. Oh! <laughs> Jared Singh in, in 3D. Finally! It's going to be coming out. I hate oh. this movie! It's going to suck so bad. <laughs> We gotta bring some schlock back schlock. on the freak yes. show. Yeah. So there it's you been go. So Fuck long. yeah. <laughs> yes. The anticipation. God, I hope nothing dies between now and Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I like the way that this is how you do it, right? You build suspense for a movie so right. everybody's yeah, like, you build it up over a it. year, and then oh you finally God. bring it. Yes. It's like, ooh, that was. Oh, well, we're going to find out next week, folks. We're we getting like, both of them out of the way in a two-week span. This right, is amazing. Right. Like week after week. Oh, my God. My head's oh going to blow up. Oh, my God. Woo. We're going to start like so finding excited. some other movies to like interject. Shit. Like this movie, right? Never bring it right, to the yeah. show. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Near Dark. You know, yeah. A, You're right. Know, yeah, let's start yeah. building the mythos of Near Dark right yeah. now <laughs> and then wait a year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>